Hey guys, it's the Solo Classy and Tina and Cyrus Monster Analysis video. We're going to be going over Pyroelectricon. I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not this monster is worth getting out of its current monster challenge. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Pyroelectrica is a tank, and her traits are Hardened, Tough, and then Self 33% Shield. And the Hardened and Tough actually don't replace each other, so it will actually stack, which is pretty cool. But it's still not a super good trait. And then her Relics are Shield and Amulet, which are pretty good. Now let's go on down to her pros and cons. Alright, so she has 50% increase in life, as well as a double life, which is really good. She also has decent stacks, access to a stackable umbrella trait, which is that hardened and tough. And then she also has good relic slots. And that is shield and amulet, which are both, yeah, really good. And then her cons are incomplete damage mirror, which is true, and no taunt or mega taunt as a tank, which is a very, very big problem for tanks. You kind of need taunt and mega taunt to be good, otherwise the enemies will just attack a different monster. And then if we've gone down to her moveset, she has an AoE at 40 thunder damage with ignite and self double life, which is pretty good. She also has a 50% damage mirror with a 75% damage mirror as well. And the 50 can go on an ally, which is pretty cool. And then she also has a team 50% damage mirror, which is really good. And she has an AoE burn and shock, or you can pick a 50% life increase. So overall, she does have some decent moves. I do like that she can put damage mirror on your allies so that if they attack your allies, it will do damage back. That is, of course, really helpful since she doesn't have taunt or mega taunt. But yeah, she's still just not as good as other tanks because she doesn't have taunt or mega taunt. So yeah, I would probably just not go for her because she isn't a challenge, so she will cost gems and it's just not really worth your gems but i guess if you need her for a book or if you just really like her go and get her but personally i don't think she's worth it but yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think of pyroelectrica because of course you guys could have completely different opinions and yeah her moveset definitely isn't bad at all so yeah i definitely understand if you do like her and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye